What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Shroud the Hook. I'm Mikey Slaybaugh and in today's video you're going to see me take a trip down to Evansville, Indiana to bowl the first PBA Central Regional of the year. This was a great trip full of stress and fun and this one was different because I took my parents with me. Actually, I shacked up in my parents' RV. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments and uh, yeah, have a good one guys. Hope you enjoy. Oh, it's Friday. Oh, and it's a great Friday too, because tomorrow is the first regional of the year for the Central Region, and I am stoked. I cannot wait to bowl it. I have been itching to get back into competition. Um, this is going to be a different weekend though, because usually I travel alone. I'm somebody who is very picky about um, how my tournament weekends go. I need to eat at certain places and I need to get up at certain times. I need to be at the bowling alley at a certain time. It's just easier for me to do that when I travel by myself. But this weekend I am not traveling alone. This weekend I will be traveling with my parents. Yes, my parents. And here's why. So tomorrow is the first regional of the year, but on Sunday there is a tournament up in St. Joe. The regional tomorrow is down in Evansville. Evansville is five and a half hours south of me and St. Joe is an hour north of me. So instead of trying to drive to Evansville tomorrow, bowl, drive five hours back home, maybe get a couple hours of sleep and then drive to St. Joe on Sunday morning, my parents have graciously allowed me to use them and their RV so that way I can sleep on the way back home tomorrow night so that way I can bowl Sunday. I am extremely spoiled and I am so grateful that my parents allow me to use their RV and I'm very happy for them because they purchased the RV after they paid off their house. They've always wanted to travel so they get to use their RV and now I get to use them. So this is gonna be a fun weekend. But uh, we're already packed up, we're ready to head out, and so this is gonna be a fun weekend. So hopefully they don't drive me too crazy. <laughs> ah, you guys ready? Yeah. All right, here are my traveling companions this weekend. This is Dad right here, otherwise known as Steve, but I call him Dad, and that's Mother. And this is our deadbeat dog. So, I'm going to sit back and relax for the next five and a half hours. Onward! So we made it a combined five miles and before we've already had to stop to get gas because apparently this thing doesn't run off of air. That's what they told me. So while that's happening, um, I'm just going to make my bed now because I want to. Yeah. It's really noisy, it's really bouncy, it's really rough. Um, got taken off the highway because uh, construction. So we're gonna take an adventure. I don't know if this thing's gonna fit on these back roads, but we're gonna well, yeah. about to find out, we'll see. So a couple more hours and we'll be there. There's a dog. <laughs> Alright guys, we made it! How was that trip? Not for me, I slept for half of it. It's pretty great, actually. Thanks, guys. Oh, so dinner and then sleep? Yes. Cool, dinner. First of so, all, gotta walk the dog. We gotta walk the dog. That's gonna be mom's job because 
it's not my job. And then we're gonna eat food and then get to sleep because it's already 9.30. Are we potty? And we're gonna get up and bowl tomorrow, so. Well, it's campfire time. And that means talks with dad. So, many people don't know this, but this man means the world to me. He is the one who taught me everything about my work ethic, my dedication, and uh, he's really one that pushed me to chase this crazy dream of mine. And uh, a little story about him is back in the day, he used to race motocross. And uh, my father was extremely fast. He was offered a chance to race in the AMA Outdoor National Series. Unfortunately, he got in a car wreck. Um, family matters came up and he decided not to go. So with somebody who knows what it takes to get to a professional level and with somebody who has been able to compete at a professional level and find out how hard it is, I would like him to tell you exactly what do these people need to do? If you're a young kid, what do you need to do? What's one piece of advice you can give a young kid who's chasing their dream? Well, uh, the one piece of advice I would give you is to take that first step. I've had a lot of people that have come up to me in tournaments and have asked me uh, how to get started, or I know they've asked Michael too how to get started. But you need to take that first step and not let somebody talk you out of it. If it's something that you want to go do, you need to go after it. And I think along with that, the one biggest thing that a lot of people just simply lack is the discipline to make the changes to their game, to their physical game, and to their mental game, to go ahead and pursue a goal like that. Because discipline is really the key, the key to achieving something big like that. So I guess that's my one piece of advice, be disciplined. Work hard, stay focused, stay disciplined, you'll reach your dreams. So I'm sitting here trying to get ready to bowl. Oh, here's a Sunny's 904. And this is what my father Split dominators on it. 65 grand. My son needs to make some money so that I can go racing fast. I'm trying to get ready to bowl a bowling tournament. I'm trying to get ready to... Yeah, spit it out. <laughs> Ooh, here's a Pro Mod Grand Am, 135,000. You, you can barely afford the truck you have. How are you going to go buy a Pro Mod? So we're halfway through. By the way, this is Rick McCormick. What's up, guys? All right, Rick. Yo, what is your favorite thing about bowling on the PBA Regional Tour? Competition. Competition is a lot more intense back home. And you said it earlier today, nothing really beats trying to bowl for a title. There's really nothing in the world that's better than that. And today's regional was pretty tough. We got some good bowlers, some guys that just got back from 
Reno, all the PBA stops, um, but just a competition. It's more tense. It brings up your game a little bit because you got to focus a lot harder rather than the league stuff or local stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. I like the food. The food's good too. <laughs> That was almost a perfect qualifying block. Except for one game where I shot two, 140. I shot 140, not 240, I shot 140. But I shot 270 behind it because that's what we do when we bowl, because bowling's stupid. Anyways, that was a really good eight games. Of, that was a really good seven games of bowling followed with one game of stupidity. I finished at 203 over for the eight games of qualifying. I believe I am fifth on the block and I am about to eat eggs because I don't have to go to McDonald's and get food. This is amazing. So, thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom, for allowing me to eat in the camper because I don't have to go buy food. I appreciate it. So, um, yeah, we got eight games around round match play coming up in about an hour. I'm going to eat food and chill out. So, hopefully, I don't shoot 140 in the next eight games. That would be amazing. So, food. Video done for the day. Uh, it's fixed. Uh, See, yeah. Yeah. There you so, Jared, how much fun did you have knocking down bowling pins today? None. I got none. I got none. Well, we got to bowl eight more games. Um, fun. Right. Yeah, no, no, not fun. <laughs> when you don't know what your ball's going to do from shot to shot, it makes no, 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 it a little no. more difficult. You know it's going to do one of about 12 other things. All right, we'll go with that. Yeah, cool. Talk about stressful. Bowling is the most stressful sport ever. Finished third. I finished third overall with probably the most enjoyable stress slash slash stressful eight games of my life. Um, I was in the hunt the entire time running down uh, Gene Perez who shot 300 to 50 his first two in match play to get like a 200 pin head start but uh, I ended up finishing third by a pin and uh, just a solid day of bowling. I mean I'm, I'm very happy and very pleased with my performance. I got a little amped up when things went sideways but that's just something that's going to come over you know come with time that I learned to deal with so it was um, it was an enjoyable day. I really can't wait to go bowl tomorrow. Yeah, I'm driving five hours back home. 
just to bowl again tomorrow. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, keep everything straight off the hook. Say peace out, Dad. Peace out. <laughs>